Today edition. Today edition, folks. Whoa! That's a monkey time if I've ever seen one. Instead of playing with the mic all day, let's find one place to put it. All right, folks. Here's what we're in for. In case you weren't well aware, on the most recent episode of the Is It Kino podcast, we announced a contest to find E. Rich's podcast host replacement. E. Rich has vowed to leave the show at the end of April with the Avengers Endgame episode. So I said, folks at home, if you would like the chance to replace E. Rich and become the new cuck soy boy of the show. Send in your applications. I want to hear a sample of your microphone quality. I want to learn about your political stances. I want to know how girthy are you? Are you an absolute unit, folks? We've received a handful of applications. I have not read or listened to any of these. I thought it'd be fun to go through them together. I'll read off whatever text they wrote, and then we can all listen to their recordings together. And ultimately, the chat, uh, you and I will decide whether these people move on to the preliminary rounds or if they're not even qualified for the tournament, folks. Uh, Unfortunately, I used the same email for everything, so let's see if we can find which ones are E-Riches and which ones are Depression Chambers. (laughs) Really, they're but it's so sad. Um, like a, an email titled "I want to replace E. Rich" could easily just be a depression chamber. It's a very sad state of affairs for any particular person. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got um this guy named Cinema Sins 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 says, "Can I please be the new E. Rich? I'll donate one dollar." Let's take a listen and see what he has to say. Hopefully I have the audio mixed okay on here, so you guys can actually hear him. Hey, hey mum, sorry. <laughs> sorry, this isn't started well. I was watching your stream, I'll turn it down, so you can hear me better. Um, so, hi, uh, I was watching your stream, where you said that you're looking for a new E-Rich, since it's going away like leaving or whatever um so this is my resume to say that i i think i would be a good replacement for e rich so um this is my mic for one this is what i sound like um (laughs) sorry sorry i'm just nervous Um, so i'm i'm not actually liberal but i i can pretend to be liberal um you can see in my voice, I already sound like a little uh, soy boy. I think he's like, doing a um, bit. A rich. Surely this a is a bitch bit. McSoy. You can call me that as well. You can call me a bitch McSoy if you want. <laughs> it, won't, it won't really make sense though. Um, my actual name's Darcy, but on Twitch it's a Frozen Puppet. Um, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Um. So yeah, this is my resume. Um, please, uh, I think I, w- I would be a good applicant. Uh, p- p- pick choice for the new E. Rich. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, I like how he recorded that literally as we announced it. <laughs> uh, you could hear the podcast still going on in the background. <laughs> Yeah, Patchy, you can be the next top. You rich, you have to enter the contest, though. Guys, what do you think of Cinema Sins, Sins, Sins? <laughs> uh, he sounds uh, very brave, very confident in what he's doing. <laughs> uh, hopefully he only cries twice per episode. <laughs> no charisma. What do you mean? That was the most charismatic man I've ever heard. I, I have to assume he was doing a bit. <laughs> Nobody can be that pathetic. <laughs> you have to assume. This is our guy, Mumkey. Don't let him go or he'll replace you on State of the YouTube. <laughs> Sheep says, I think it's good. <laughs> you vote for Asperger. We're not to that part of the competition yet. <laughs> if Asperger wants to call in from prison with a with an application, I will uh, see it out. He is so good he could replace you. Well, it doesn't take much to replace me, I don't think. All right, should we... Uh... 
I don't know. I don't know if this guy. Uh, <laughs> I'll star it. I'll star this one. I, we'll, we'll come back to it. I'm not going to give him an automatic uh, you're in yet. <laughs> get unsubscribed to host. Is it Kino? Yeah, I love unsubscribe. If he wants to be on, we'll get him on. Um. Okay. Hi, orangutan Oscar. I am submitting a video to be the new E. Rich on Izakino. I'm currently an art and film student that wants to awaken the world to the fact that toxic masculinity is making the ozone layer weaker, which makes the media more susceptible to SCP breaches. Here is a link to my audition and a link to a TED talk I did last summer for my department that gives you somewhat of a sample of what to expect from me in podcasts. Okay. He sent us a YouTube video audition, Hello. so I guess we can watch that on screen. All right, let's take a look. Hello, um, I'm here for the chimpanzee Chad um, interview um, thingy with the, the replacement for, for E. Rich. I think he was a very progressive figure in the Is It Kino community. However, I, I disagree a lot with a lot of his, um, a lot of his ideologies. I think uh, his name in general is too capitalistic. My, uh, my name happens to be E. Middle Class McCoy. Um, <laughs> I am a very progressive figure. That's As you funny. can tell, I am sitting in an all-gender bathroom in my college. <laughs> um, here's a shower. Here, right, right there is the sink. I'm on the toilet. I am currently taking a shit. Um, I, am, I am shit positive. That is um, mm -hmm. a very important thing in the progressive community right now. Um, as, as evidence of how progressive I am, I'd like to show off my pins. Um, this is a pin that says, I'm a snowflake, wait for the avalanche. Um, I, I, I got that one from DashCon uh, before they canceled it. Um, here's my, my trusty beta pin. Um, here's, here's, here's my gay furry pin. Um, I got an ask me about my pronouns. And then I have a Hogwarts pin so that uh, everybody knows that I support J.K. Rowling and her decision to make her parents gay. Um, it was a very wise decision in the writing behalf of her um, executive uh, functioning disorder. Um, I feel like um, another reason I should be on the uh, Is It Kino um, thingy is, is um, it, uh, uh, because I'm I'm very pro progressive. I believe I believe in in the women. I I uh, as evidence. Uh, I I saw my girlfriend texting someone yesterday, and somebody sent her a picture of their dick. And as a response, you know what she did? She sent a picture right back. That's what you get for disrespecting women. <laughs> that monkey is perfectly um, placed. Another thing is that I am uh, currently uh, in the process of. Uh, awakening my third eye. I have the um, spell tag right here as a tribute to um, the god Exodia so that I can become more woke. Um, my self-hatred is far beyond anything that E. Rich could ever achieve. I'm uh, far more powerful than he is. I, I would actually vote for Stalin in 2020 if I could possibly, and that is about all I have to say. Um, this has been E. Middle Class McCoy, and um, uh, I hope... I hope I can see you on the podcast, Mr. Gorilla Gary. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. All right. That's that's his application. I wanted people's audio to be tested, like with the microphone they would be using on Discord, not recording on a video camera. <laughs> that's not how a, a podcast would work. But um, what do you guys think of this guy? Somebody said uh, he's the best so far. Okay. Well, there have been two. He believes women exist. What a buffoon. He's a garden variety anti-SJW. I've heard these jokes a million times before. The Is It Kino podcast needs more originality. Okay. <laughs> Has he bought the Binding of Isaac at least 50 times? I don't know. Come on, folks. Florian needs a new pair of shoes, folks. Goes on long walks around his apartment, folks. Needs to buy that corn pizza, folks. 
He's gonna oh he's gonna record all the podcasts from the bathroom like an old school filthy Frank video. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, should we watch his TED talk? He sent in a, a TED talk. Give me a give me a yay or nay. Do you want to watch this guy do a TED talk in front of his class? It's up to you. We don't have to watch it. Got a yay? No. <laughs> Animated demon knows what's coming. <laughs> it's not an actual TED talk. It looks like he's embarrassing himself in front of his college class. <laughs> All right, we'll give it a watch. Uh, I gotta click on the link. There we go. Uh, it's eleven minutes. So as soon as everybody begs me to stop, we will turn it off. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look. See here. First aid corgi. Woke Slam Poetry, VCU 2018. So what's up? Uh, let's uh, let's just give everybody a snap. Everybody's doing really well. Cool, cool, cool. All I right. hate that. So first of all, um, I fuck. I hate that stupid ass snapping shit. Cause for one, I can't snap. For two, what's wrong with fucking clapping? Oh, we don't want to disturb the other classes. Fuck off. If I gave a great presentation, I deserve a standing ovation, folks. Goddamn monkey, get out of the way. <laughs> Say thank you for subscribing. <laughs> it's so cheesy. Oh, we're snapping. Oh, that is not the sound of, of uproarious applause of people saying you did a great job. It's so cheap, and I can't even make the snap sound. It's bullshit. Can't whistle, can't snap. The world is a vampire. The Smashing Pumpkins were right. Today you're gonna find out way more than you've ever wanted to know. Um, and a lot of it's gonna sound really scrambled apart at first, but it's all gonna go together, trust me. Yeah, monkeyjones um, at gmail.com. I'm going to advance human evolution um, with five, five simple components. These five simple components are very important. Each of them will not make sense at first. Oh my god. Hey, Mom. How uh, rude. They're very important. So I'll break them all down. Uh, the first one is that we yeah, this as is a in front of a race class. are evolving. Um, now, this is a personal opinion. Um, anyone can feel free to disagree with it. That's how humans work. Uh, we all have the rights to our own opinions. But. Uh, if you correct me, I'll just make fun of you for studying something useless like art. Um, <laughs> so, we as a human race are devolving. Now, if anybody knows genetics, genetics... <laughs> the entire chat is begging me to make it end. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't become a teacher, folks. Not putting up with this bullshit every day. Not worth a $25,000 a year salary, folks. I would rather be a Twitch streamer making barely 10 k a year than put up with this bullshit every day. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Yeah, he is a good Erich replacement. This is what Erich looks like teaching in front of his class. <laughs> you should never say um during a presentation. Well, yeah, there's a lot of things you should never do. You, you should never beat your girlfriend. You should never uh, jerk off before a pee test. Things you shouldn't do, but sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes you accidentally say um. I'm sure I've cracked an um or two on these streams a time or two. Well, what are you supposed to do? It's called being nervous. It's called verbal tics. But you guys are enjoying this so much, I think we have to, we have to keep going. <laughs> is the statement that one thing of a certain uh, species likes another thing of a certain <laughs> species because of a certain appealing factor of that species. Now they will mate and they will pass on that trait to the next generation. And if that is a trend with the rest of the whole species, that trait will become <laughs> basically just a staple in that entire... So, okay. Based on the chat not wanting to watch him for more than two minutes, I, I'm guessing, uh... Should I send him an invitation to be part of the contest? Yes or no, chat? Yes or no? <laughs> keep going? Well, the guy with the money said to keep going. I mean, I'm a businessman, folks. I'm sorry. Species. Now, the reason that's an issue and that we are devolving is that let's just say uh, in, I don't know, like 20, 
five years ago, like back with the dinosaurs. <laughs> we have um, like, uh, brontosaurus, right? Uh, maybe it saw another brontosaurus with like really, really long fingernails. Yeah, this is and him talking about they race bred, mixing. And they bred another brontosaurus with really long fingernails, and that became the staple. All brontosauruses then had very long fingernails. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, um, we have. Fortnite is Whoa. basically going to become the staple, unfortunately, with all people. And that leads into my second component of this lecture. Uh, and that is that the internet is indoctrinating children and making them rational. Amen. Ration I mean irrational, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Radical and irrational. Get this and so, sell out of here. Everybody knows. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the deal, folks. I'm still a businessman. I'm going to leave this open in a tab. <laughs> and if anybody really wants to watch the rest, you know where to find me. <laughs> Tough crowd. Destiny, is this you? <laughs> this is yours? Your submission, Destiny? <laughs> okay. Let's get back to uh, some other applications. I don't think anybody else sent in a TED Talk, so we might not have any more visuals. Azur, thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard. All right, so, wait, so yay or nay? Are we going to send this guy an invite? Let me know, yay or nay. Everyone cheer, it's finally over. What are the rules for America's Next Top? Be rich, send your application to monkeyjones at gmail.com, and then I'll listen to it and we'll make fun of you. <laughs> nay, nay, yay, yay, yan. <laughs> yay, kill him. I think that's a yay. Yay, yay, nay. Wow, it's half if and half. If you get the classroom guy to co-host, I'll boost my patronage to twenty dollars dollars. Wait, if you get the if you get him to co-host, you'll <laughs> well, it's not up to me. The audience votes for who wins. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. I'm I, I'll let him know that you're a big fan. I guess I'll star him in case we don't find uh, eight people who are better than him to go into the bracket. All right. You honestly shouldn't have just replace E Rich with Jeremiah or something. Literally, no one likes E Rich. I guess that no one is actually going to enter this contest, so I might as well enter. Okay. Oh, he sent in a video. Oh, it's just audio. Okay, let's take a listen. What is this? Elliot Roger Google image? <laughs> Why did you post that in the chat? <laughs> okay. Hey, this is Vim to see that I'm recording on iPhone, so my mic quality is trash. Uh, politically, I don't really care about anything. Um, race relations are pretty bad. Um, my favorite film is probably Taxi Driver. That was way too soft to even hear, and he admitted he's recording on an iPhone. Uh, you're not doing my motherfucking podcast on your goddamn iPhone, bitch. Automatic no. Get the fuck out of here. Wasted our time. Wasted our time. Shameful. All right, where's the rest of the application? Uh, e. Rich McSoy and a suitable replacement. Okay. Here, here's from one from Harvey Jack. It has been brought to my attention in your most recent podcast that E. Rich will soon depart from the show. This is indeed a tragedy. However, from every misfortune, an opportunity must arise. And that is exactly why I send this letter as I desire to become America's next E. Rich, despite the fact that I'm British. Looking for another self-hating soy boy to keep the balance in the podcast? Then I'm exactly the man you're looking for, as I'm ironically, unironically a leftist. I also enjoy media criticism and situational edgy humor, which should be quite useful in the context of the podcast. I hope that my application is at the very least considered. Best of regards. Okay. Let's consider him. Good day, Mumkey. This is a sample of my audio and my voice. I do hope it is sufficient. However, if it is not, there are probably means through which I could get better recording. I just don't want to make a fuss about it if there's no fuss to be made. That's it? Okay, well. Uh, audio quality could be better, but then again, E. Rich's audio quality was always pretty dog shit to begin with. Uh, yeah, he seems like a polite, 
leftist boy. What do you guys think? He's a fake ass Florian. Sounds like an audiobook reader. That's not too bad. Sounds too much like Florian. Just anybody with a, a European accent sounds like Florian to you. Maybe should I star this guy too? We need an antagonist. He said he's a leftist. That's automatically an antagonist. Florian needs to stop cheating with too many entries. <laughs> wow. He's already on the show. He doesn't need to do it. <laughs> okay, we'll give him the Jewish uh, star. All right. Here's one from Elijah. Let's take a listen. What's up? What's going on? My name is Elijah Thompson, and I want to be the next E-Bitch McSoy. My favorite movie of all time is a movie called Look Who's Back. It's a German movie about Hitler through some miraculous means ending up in present time and just the, the fucking domino of effect that it creates. It's, it's written extremely well and it's super funny. Uh, my political views, I don't know. I'm black. Enough said, right? What? <laughs> um... I think I'd make a great e bitch McSoy because <laughs> I most of the time agree with him. Wow. I think he's open minded. I'm open minded. I hate Florian. If I ever saw him, his <laughs> hands on sight. And I think I can provide a, uh, a much needed perspective that the Monkey Jones channel could probably use. So, yeah. Peace out. Okay, in terms of audio quality. Uh, very loud, fuzzy air sound in the background, and at the end I heard a plane <laughs> flying right outside his window. <laughs> but I do like the forced diversity quota. I think E. Rich McSoy, a cuck of all cucks, would love to be replaced with, with an actual African American. I think he would demand it. What do you guys think of Elijah? I think he'd be a good fit if we can make his audio sound a little bit better. His voice is too soft. I don't like him. He's the diversity higher. People like me are supposed to listen uh, to people like you chatter on about depression in America. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> she blocked the N-word from appearing in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> Rich would literally be getting cocked by a black man. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Lots of yeses. Okay, I think we can fix the audio. I'm gonna send him a. Uh, I'm gonna send him a. You're in. You're in the. How late can I send in these applications? I don't know. I have no set due date. Send it in whenever you want. You're in the running. Send. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. Unsubscribe just sent me something. Can you join my stream on voice for a minute? I don't think he's watching right now, but he's randomly messaged me about podcasting shit. Let's see if we can get unsubscribed to do a live audition. But it looks like he's on his phone. So maybe not. We'll see if he replies. Demon, why are you saying no? What do you have against unsubscribe? Oh, and Mr. Sharp Eddie's gonna go stream Spiral. Sorry, I can't host your stream. I'm doing my own stream tonight. All right, who's next? Um. Oh, here's. This isn't an application. This is from somebody named Jacob. Hey, monkey, you deserve so much more. My name's Jacob. I'm a marketer from Florida. Uh oh, I don't like the sound of this so far. And it's important to me that more people see your content. I've been watching your videos since you uploaded Mumkey's anime reviews on a regular basis, and I can confidently say I've seen every one of your videos. They helped me through a lot. I've also been a patron supporter since YouTube threw you away so unprofessionally. I remember when every upload got hundreds of thousands of views uh, within hours of being posted. I, that was never the case. <laughs> Whoa, you were growing so fast. God, I, I don't think that's ever been true. I was very happy for you, considering how much alike we are. Uh oh, this is gonna—is this gonna be when he says he's gonna plan a school shooting or something? I made cringy and controversial short films in high school, and I almost got kicked out of school. Okay, unsubscribe replied. I'm gonna—I'm gonna call him.
Hello? Yo, unsubscribe! Hey, what's up, man? You are live on the Mumkey Twitch, uh, thing. We are- we're going through the applications for America's Next Top E-Rich, and I wanted you to, uh, apply live on the show right oh, now. Hell yeah. Okay, so um... So... I'm good at talking about movies, but I suck at, like, getting off my ass to go watch them. Uh-oh. But <laughs> big, I can make an exception. I can make an exception uh, for something that would be as dope as that. But okay. I'm good at talking about movies. If you want to see my application, uh, I did a – I have a Is It Kino ripoff podcast already. And uh, our Infinity War episode is pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Um, what are your political I views? I, I we need to know your political views. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. You fucking um, hate Trump. <laughs> the, you, you know the purge? Yeah. They were right about one thing. We have way too many homeless and poor people, and we just need to like get rid of all. This isn't a race thing. Like, <laughs> I want to make that clear. It's not a racial issue. No. Uh, po so 13 percent of the population. That's that all has to do with poverty. So it's okay. To, never mind. Um, <laughs> Whoa! Fuck, I don't know. You're gonna fit right in with Florian, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, now that being said, uh, I can argue. Like, I, I can, you know, I don't know. I am. Uh, I am. Uh, I think you, I'm probably closer to. I think you said Cream Man is like super, like pro capitalist, like no bullshit <laughs> kind of shit. Sure. So probably something closer to that. But um, I don't know. Like, I can. I can argue whatever you need me to argue, but <laughs> I just and want I'm you to be yourself. Yeah, here's the thing: I'm really opinionated, perfect, which is normally pretty good. Yeah. Um, and uh, like I said, uh, if you check out unsubscribe or unsubscribe the Squeakwool, which is my second channel, I got some podcasts on there that you know you can kind of check out. But uh, yeah, no, I can talk about movies. I uh, I'm good at watching them. I don't normally fall asleep. <laughs> um, well, that's a bad replacement for E-Rich. You got to sleep through at least 10% okay. of each film. <laughs> yeah, but do I have to be E-Rich, though? No, because, no, like, no, you don't. Here, here, here's the thing. Here's you, the thing. You There's fucking only hate Trump. one. Like, here's the thing. It is a miracle that as many people liked E-Rich as they did. <laughs> wow. That's coming from someone who, that's coming from someone who likes E-Rich. <laughs> wow. like, but I, what I'm saying is if you have someone who's like E-Rich but not E-Rich, they're not going to last long. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. Yeah, he has very thick skin. I don't think somebody with his typical <laughs> views would be able to take all the abuse he gets. Yeah. All um, right. One last thing. G give me your top five yeah. movies of all time. Currently. Okay. So um, I must say my number one current favorite is uh, just came out, but it's Into the Spider-Verse. I fucking love that movie. Okay. Um, I also love an uh, anime movie called Summer Wars. Um, I love Scott Pilgrim versus the world, um, team America world police, and let's say the world's end by Edgar Wright. Okay. We have a, a, a comedy man of sorts. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, like I, I can't do any more serious short films like Samuel Smegma. I'm going to branch out into comedy. <laughs> well, well, people might be excited to know that perhaps, uh, the Satan himself might be making a return uh, sooner than later. Who could say? Who knows for sure? Yeah, not not me, though. Actual Satan. <laughs> yeah, no, not you. <laughs> All right, uh, All right th there's your right. application. Let's see what the chat thinks. Thanks for calling in. All right, appreciate it, Monkey. You have a good one. Yeah, see you. All right, what do you guys think of unsubscribe? Should we put them on the, on the short list? Give me a yay or a nay. <laughs> so many nays, what did he do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the yays. I'm gonna turn on my fan. I'm heating up. I'm not taking off this jacket either. There's uh, there's holes in the armpit. Okay. Okay, unsubscribe. Realistically, is probably the best choice. Uh, I think he's a good one. I think he's a good one for sure. Let's go back to, uh, what's this email, this guy talking shit about me? I made cringy and controversial short films in high school, and I almost got kicked out of school for that controversial behavior. When I hear your stories, I think I'm reading a self-biography. I know a lot of people 
I know a lot more people than me relate so heavily to you, and it's a shame YouTube took away your expansion so suddenly. My goal is to make sure you keep making videos so everyone like us knows there is a place for them. I've been marketing for clients for over a year now, and I've been able to increase various sales by 200% and more. I'd love to help you keep growing by influencing your Google and Facebook ad placement, if that's something you're interested in. I'm also quite good at free advertising. One unpaid Facebook post of mine can get between 10,000 and 50,000 views by sharing alone. I'd love to get your name spreading again so you can keep growing for as long as you're willing to turn on your camera. If my professional help isn't something you're interested in right now, I'd like to... I'd still like to assist your needs in any way possible. If you ever want another friend to chat with, I'm here. I understand your depression because I deal with it as so many of my friends uh, do. It's very important to me that you keep putting your voice out there and that you never give up. Wow. What an email. Okay, let's find an actual application. Here's one from a Morpheus. What a soy boy. <laughs> let's blow that up. A morph, uh, am, no, am, amphibious, not a morphous, amphibious octopus. Here you go, fellas. If you want to hear more or have any tweaks I can do to help my audio quality, feel free to email me back at this email. Let's take a listen. Hello, Monkey and Florian. Uh, my name is Tyler, and I am applying for the Ebitch McSoy position on your uh, podcast, the uh, Is It Kino podcast. Um, uh, nope my, already. one of my favorite movies of all time is The Never Ending Story. What? Um, because of your recent podcast on it. Now, I have been watching for a very long time. <sighs> I don't remember the very first one I watched, but I remember once I watched it, I went back and did watch all of them. <laughs> and as an added There's bonus no time limit to me joining your uh, podcast... I would like to tell you I am in the same time zone as your monkey, so it would make scheduling a lot easier. Now, I would like to tell you that I don't despise Trump, but I do disagree with a few of the things that he says. Whoa! Uh, Whoa! I don't know if that makes me enough of a libtard to, uh, for you to in, uh, enjoy my application, but then um, in case you can't hear, I am using a Blue Yeti microphone. Um... I've got it. I'm still working out the kinks in it, so if this is a little off, then uh, it's probably because I haven't tweaked it enough yet. Um, and I'm very open to uh, anything you can give me back. Um, so please email me back if you even somewhat appreciate it. And if you don't accept me, I'd still love to hear criticisms on the mic quality. Uh, thanks. Uh, my name is uh, Tyler, and goodbye. Okay, first of all, my quality, the fact that you own the Blue Yeti microphone, that's it's good enough. It obviously didn't sound very good there, but it's it's not too hard to make it sound good. It's what a lot of people just use all the time. I think Wings of Redemption only uses it. I think even Florian might use it. I don't know. Does everyone base their decision on Monkey's face? I got a pretty good poker face, folks. And also, it's always uh, completely white from these goddamn lights in this room. Maybe I should just turn off the light and go all natty. You guys tell me what you think of what Leafy had to say while I turn off my light. There we go. That's a little bit better, right? All natty. Yeah, yeah, camera exposure. I know. I know. The problem is I just, I would rather everything be all fucked up than you see my real face. <laughs> Trust me, it's better than any, better than you can imagine. Um, I'm still too white. That's just fine. That's white power, they say. The power of having a white face. So, uh, should we should we give this guy a star? Do you guys like amphibious octopus? He says he likes Never Ending Story because of my podcast about it. We don't even know if he's seen it. He just liked it because I did a podcast saying that I liked it. Nay. Ooh, Patchy said nay. Pat, he's a big one. Patchy might actually do this. He sees all these movies. Patchy, can you call in on Discord right now and do your application? I've never actually talked to Patchy on Discord. Does he even talk on Discord and chat and voice chat? Patchy, what are you doing right now? I know you're not doing anything important. Give him a chance. 
Apache already emailed one? Great. <laughs> All right, we'll give him a chance. I'll, I'll keep him in consideration. Let's find Patchy's. Patchy, Patchy. Pa oh. <laughs> okay, Patchy's email is titled, I am next to rich. This is my real-life brother, Patchy, in case you didn't know. I should be America's next top e rich because I bring to the table something that Florian and Mumpke failed to provide. It's very quiet. And that is the perspective of the everyday common man. I'm the exact opposite of e rich which is why you need me on this podcast. I don't read the LA Times and then solely base my views of the movie off of that. I didn't like Call Me By Your Name because I'm not a closeted homosexual. <laughs> and I even have Binding of Isaac on the Switch, so I'll automatically get along with Florian. So yeah, that's basically it. I should be the next top E-Rich. Thanks, bye. Patchy, that was very quiet. Can you call in on Discord? I have so many more questions. <laughs> no, yeah, that was critical. <laughs> critical called in. <laughs> Could you guys even hear that? It was so quiet to me. I could barely hear it. Get on the fucking mic. <laughs> Binding of Isaac is trash. We should get you on the show. <laughs> well, we heard it fine. Okay. That guy's good. Okay, we'll put pa we'll throw Patchy. In. Patchy, do you actually want to do it? Do you have the time <laughs> to see a movie and then talk about it on a podcast for an hour, like once every ten days? Do you have the time for that, Patch, with your busy work and uh, college life? <laughs> he d he didn't like call me by your name because he's not a closeted homosexual. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> You used the full words. I think, uh, yeah. I still have in in the tank. I have not uploaded this yet. Me and Patchy and Shebover recorded an episode of Visit Kino about Twilight, like, last November. I need to put that up so you guys can... That'll be his true application, even though I think he didn't say a fucking thing. He was camera shy in that one. I think they were both camera shy. And that was back even before the Asperger's shit. Those were good times back then. Was the episode Kino? I don't know. I haven't looked at it in five months. <laughs> Demon would be a cool replacement. Funny. Oh, th Demon, you're the one who wrote this. <laughs> okay. Well, Demon uh, busted my gut yesterday, so let's see what Demon has to say today. <laughs> Audio is gold. <laughs> All right, Demon, let's see, let's hear your application. Well, you, you sent me a link to a voice recorder. You, you didn't send me your recording. You sent me a link to the website where you can record, you stupid idiot. I can't. There's nothing here. <laughs> what are you fucking doing? <laughs> Okay, here's one from San Dwin Sam. It's epic. Thanks. Thanks, an animated demon. Hi, my name is Ebic McSoy. I just want black people to fuck my GF. Please, I, I get off on it. I just whack my little fucking dick off to that. But really, I just want to put in an application. I have no fucking life. I have nothing to do. I haven't got a job. I tried. I'm just bored, lonely, and I don't really have any po political beliefs. I will argue on anything. I don't really understand race relations. I have to say that right now. I think everything's equal. I just think you can't stamp out racism. You try to stamp it out anymore, you're just going to create more racist. But yeah, I, please. I'm lonely. Please let me do this shit or something. I don't know. I never filled out an application before. <laughs> this man needs a platform. <laughs> I like this guy. I really do. <laughs> I like his voice. I like his attitude. Uh, I like everything that I'm seeing here. What do you guys think? Should we should we send this guy a uh, you're in? Should we give him a star so I come back to him later? Give me a Discord invite so I can do a live interview. Mr. Sharpietti's laughing. Is he the new Elliot Roger? Yeah, if we don't pick him, he's going to shoot up his college campus. He literally sounds like he's in my head. This is what schizophrenia is like. Oh, oof. <laughs> Give him a star. Uh, I I don't know. I I think I'm gonna send my reply saying now uh, you're in. Uh, you're in the running. 
<laughs> I really want to hear this guy on an actual episode. <laughs> okay. Where's the next one? We've got one from... Uh... What? Oh, that's just spam. I thought it was from an actual person. Um... Hi, this is Sam. You don't know who the fuck who I am, but I don't care. Political affiliation. Oh, he filled, he filled out the I side with. He got 95% Democrat, 87% Green Party, 86% Socialist, 85% Peace and Freedom. 4% Constitution? Whoa! How could you be so pro-freedom and anti-Constitution? It's the fabric by which we weave our freedoms! Anyway, let's listen to this guy's application. Hello, Monkey Jones. My oh name is my Sam, God. and this is my Is It Kino podcast audition. I'm a proud male feminist. I refer to myself as a V-silly, voluntary celibate. Hold on, let me drink some of my soy milk. Yeah, this mic is great. I refer... I am a visa because I respect women. I would never demean a woman's virtue by harming her with my male gaze. My thoughts on race relations in America is that white people should be ashamed to call themselves Americans. White people can never atone for what they have done. Just by existing... He doesn't want to wake up his parents in the other room. Are harming them with our privilege. He has to whisper. Any other questions you have about my political op opinions, you can... See the I stand with dot com links with the audio here. In other news, my three favorite movies in no particular order are Dan Hartfeld's It's Such a Beautiful Day, Frank Marshall's Arachnophobia, and Nelson Shin's Transformers the Movie 1986. That is all. Thank you for your time. It's going to be a big no from me. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let's see. It's not the highest quality microphone audio. Nay, nay. How embarrassing. Big yikes, dog. Fucking no. Yikes. Nay, nay, nay. No, stop it. No. All right. We need, um, after that one, we need a bit of a palate cleanser, folks. We need something to make us feel better after that torturous experience. That's right. I'm not fooling. We need a little bit of Brad Dassey to make us feel better. Let's do it, folks. Um, there are these really dangerous sites out there that are telling children a bunch of terrible discriminatory things, and they're making memes and things that people find okay into very dangerous things, even if they weren't intended in the first place. Um, April Fool's, motherfucker! One of the main things, as my first point, brought up was Fortnite. The dances are becoming nationalist and it is a issue. Um, it is a serious issue and not a lot of people are realizing it, but just like um, that meme with the Grinch with a gun online, um, it's becoming a hate symbol and it needs to be addressed. Which leads into my third point. My third point is going to sound strange. <laughs> Helen Keller did Okay, the man with the money said no. I have no choice but to stop. <laughs> we will resume you later, my friend. <laughs> Thanks for the ghost. Okay. Where were we? Okay. Here's one from Ryan. Last name withheld. I guess it was worth a shot. Probably not, he says. Hey, monkey. My name's Ryan. Hey, good I'm audio. 19. I live down in San Diego. Been a fan of yours for quite some time. I've listened to Izakino since it, you and Ebitch started the show. Um, let's see, some of my favorite movies. Oh, we got like The Producers, Citizen Kane, Schindler's List. Uh, Falling Down, Logan, Tropic Thunder. That's a good spread. Let's see, what were your other demands? Oh, politics. Ooh, okay, uh, I, I'm, I guess I've been on the conservative side. Race relations, oh, a, a monkey. Monkey, I, I live in California. I can't talk about that shit. They'll lynch me for a change. But uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go with uh, uh, what, 
what do you what do you expect how about that that's that's what we'll answer with <laughs> uh other than that oh oh other than that I, I found your channel after learning about my birthday coinciding with elliot rogers day of retribution <laughs> so that's that's something <laughs> regardless um i love to be a part of the show i, I go to college online so my schedule is pretty flexible i could look into impersonating erich but uh it probably violate the Geneva Convention somehow. Either way, thanks for your consideration. All right, Ryan. He has a great microphone, great voice. He's a conservative-leaning Californian, folks. So many interesting things going on here. I think we should send him an invite to the tournament, folks. I see lots of yays. This guy sounds like a fucking loser. <laughs> Perfect to replace E. Rich. Uh, he likes falling down, so he is instantly in. I think he said Tropic Thunder too, right? Or was that unsubscribe? I don't remember. Patchy started a call. Okay, I'm going to send Ryan an invite, but Patchy wants to call in. Hello? Hello. Hey, Patch, are you, what are you going to do? Application part two? You said you had questions for me. <laughs> okay, what are your top five favorite films of all time, Brother Patchy? Uh, Citizen Kane. <laughs> shut the fuck Robert up! Thunder. No, shut up! Uh, <laughs> Back to the Future One. What, is, what, future what is your two. what's your favorite song uh, written by Psy? Uh, buy my shirt. <laughs> How does it go? Obviously. How does that song go? <laughs> well. Buy my shirt, buy, buy my shirt, buy my shirt, buy, buy my shirt. But, 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 buy now. Yeah. And that's basically it for four minutes. Yeah. Uh, are you calling in on your phone right now? No, this is on my computer. Why does it sound like shit? Uh, it's not that great. What microphone do you have? Uh, no microphone. The computer <laughs> one. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, uh, I'm sure if we hooked you up with a microphone, it'd be fine. I, I have a Blue Yeti myself that I'm not using. I could probably just give it to you when I come down to visit next month. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> if, uh, if the people vote you into the contest. Uh-huh. <laughs> give us a yay or nay for Patchy. Uh, give them some, uh, hot details about yourself that might influence their vote. Hot details? I don't know what you mean. There's what, nothing hot what, about me. What would these people want to know that, that would make them uh, want you on the show? I basically express the same views as my brothers, so it would be a lot of agreeing <laughs> no, no. on the show. There That's wouldn't so be boring. Any, there wouldn't be any drama. Me, Florian, and, and Monkey would just agree the entire time. Who are you going to vote for in 2020? In 2020? Um, First time you can vote, right? No, I did 2016. You didn't vote for the president in 2016? Yes, I did. Yeah. What the fuck? You just, you were 18 back I then? Was, yeah, 18. And then turned 19 the month after oh. the election. Okay. Who did so you who'd you I, vote for back then and who are you voting for this time? Well, that back then was DJT and this time would be the Yang Gang. <laughs> DJT. <laughs> <laughs> you say it in code so you don't trigger any uh, soy boys. No, that's what everyone here at uh, Iowa State calls him. They call He's the him cool guy on campus. DJT. <laughs> DJT. People in the chat are saying this is nepotism. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, the chat gets to vote. It's not up to me. Uh oh. Uh, uh, you said you're voting for Yang Gang in 2020. <laughs> of course. Perfect. All right. Uh, I see lots of yays. I think you'll be in the the eight man uh, running in the in the tournament bracket. And then what happens after that? It just keeps voting? Yeah, I think how it's going to work is we just r record one normal episode with you and then one normal episode with somebody else, and then people vote for who they liked more. All right. Yeah, so maybe you'll come back like three times before you're declared second place. Sure, I can do that. Okay, well, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see about getting you a microphone before you come on. I'll be there next <laughs> month. All right, see you. See ya. Okay, there's Patchy Jones. I should be writing these down. I'm making a mistake. Okay. Where's a notepad? We've got unsubscribe, Patchy, and then I'll just check my sent emails. We're going to send a Ryan. You're in the running. There we go.
All right, let's go to the next one. Now that we are done with Pat, we should listen to Demon's email. It is very epic. Oh, man, I can't wait. But first, we have to go to George. This is my application for Is It Kino? You asked for my political opinion, so here we go. I'm a libertarian. I think there are definitely a lot of racists in America, but they are the vast minority of people. My favorite films include, but are not limited to, Taxi Driver, The Player, Shortcuts, The Shape of Water, The Master, Pan's Labyrinth, Boogie Nights, Blue Velvet, and Barry Lyndon. Let's take a listen. All right, Bumpkey, this is my um, audition for the next top e-bitch mixoy. Oh, hold up, hold so. up. So. How much to delete Demon's email? Uh, four dollars. <laughs> you send in four dollars in a donation, bits or money. I will delete Demon's email. <sighs> Here's my audio recording. Not if good. You wanna see it's my not good. Audio quality. Also, monkey, I caught you outside the Church of Scientology in Los Angeles. Would you like to explain that for me, please? Thanks. It's gonna be a big yikes for me, dog. Not a fan. What do you guys think? Should George get onto the short list? Five bits saying you know what to do. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Edit your fucking sound clips. Christ, these people are lazy. Uh, nay, nay, nay. Yikes. Mouth breathe breathing ASMR. Wow, so funny. Ban anyone who donates $4. Poor demon. Yeah, I'm gonna... George, maybe try again next year when the new E-Rich has to quit the show. Name, Josh, location, uh, California. I've been a fan for a while. I don't need to plug anything or promote anything. It'd just be cool to be on a movie podcast with Monkey. I have a mic test attached. I also know video editing, streaming software, and a little audio engineering. So if you ever need help with that, ooh, this might be good audio quality, folks. Can you imagine? Let's take a gander. Monkey, you looking for a new podcast member? I'm the guy. I got the looks, the smarts, and I can do this voice all day. But beyond that, I, uh, I actually know the term Kino. I studied film in college, and I see most new movies that come out. Uh, this is my general audio quality. It's just kind of the raw snowball input, because that's snowball. what Discord's going to sound like. Um, but I'm also not stupid, so I can always touch it up and send it to you. Uh, the only problem with... Me being on the podcast is that I got my little brother screaming in the back room sometimes. Uh, but you know what they say. Ain't nothing a little duct tape and kerosene can't fix. Okay. Using a snowball microphone and admits publicly that he's going to have a loud screaming background. I liked your New York accent for a California boy. But I don't know about everything else. He can be an editing cuck. We already we got a bunch of those. <laughs> I'm my own editing cuck. I don't care. <laughs> Snowball is basically the same as the Yeti, just in different shells. I disagree completely. <laughs> I have used both uh, professionally, and they're, the difference is, is huge. The Blue Yeti is not amazing, but it's much better than the fucking Snowball. Uh, have his, his his little kid brother on? Okay. She was a girl. He was a California boy. Yay, yay, nay, yay, yay, nay, yay, nay, 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 yay, yay. I don't know. It seems very mixed. I use a snowball and it doesn't sound that shitty. Alrighty, I'll give him a star, but I'm not going to send him an email yet. Here's one from somebody called Gateway. This is Gateway71 auditioning for the Is It Kino podcast. Um, my eyes and ears are full of shit. And that's all I've got to say. Thank you very much for listening. Okay, well, we don't really know much about this guy other than he has a nice 
uh, British accent and nice audio quality. So I think uh, that's an automatic star. He's just sort of a mystery. We don't we don't know anything about him. I guess he's nice to listen to. This guy's Doc Bones, and he says, "Yes, I am autistic." Hello, my dearest Monkey Jones. Here is my official entry. So, my political opinions. Uh, politics are fucking retarded. Uh, yeah, I got my fedora very, very tightly put on there. I don't like politics, but if you if you pressure me, I'm gonna say, okay, conservative. And you know, even then, eh, nah. Eh. Race relations in America. Uh, blacks don't deserve rights. And my favorite movies. I have a lot of favorite movies. Okay, so Perfect Blue is this gay ass anime movie from the 90s, and it's really fucking good. And then there's the thing which every faggot who likes 80s horror is like, oh my god, John Carpenter's The Thing is the greatest thing since canned bread! And it's good. I have to agree with him, it's pretty fucking great. So this is my first microphone. I also have a blue snowball that, uh, I'm kind of just too lazy to get out. So, yeah. Well, I think he has potential. I think, like the chat is saying, he, he might have been trying a little bit too hard to be an edgy boy. Uh, and it comes across as a little disingenuine, if that's even a word. Hmm... I don't know, I kind of like him. I'll give him a star. I think he has potential. I think he could be good. His audio quality wasn't horrible, and uh, I thought his voice was funny to listen to. And he can clearly be funny, just in hopefully ways that are more Twitch-friendly, folks! A Twitch-friendly disingenuous. Okay. What? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you think I give a shit about words? <laughs> All right, here's one from Alcoholic Goat. We've had bad luck with alcoholics thus far, folks. Here's my submission. I hope you consider me for the running. If not, thank you for your time, and I'll still enjoy the podcast. I did a lot of memeing in my opinions. Hope that's cool. I'm more politically centrist, and I don't want to echo Sodi as far as race relations. Okay. Let's take a listen. So, uh, this is my audition for... America's Next Top Erich on Is It Kino. Um, I'm going to give my big brain opinion on the movie Us. Um, it's clearly a sequel to Ratatouille. Um, political leanings. Uh, I, my wife is very happy with her new boyfriend, and I am enjoying my Nintendo Switch as a uh, reward for my vasectomy. Um, race relations in America. This is a very hot-button topic. The N-word pass. Who are we kidding? It should be legitimized. Gamers should be able to say the N-word as frequently as they want because, spoiler alert, black people don't exist. Stanley created them with Black Panther. Uh, favorite kinos. Um, uh, this is my genuine opinion on filmmaking. I think that movies that champion themselves on uh, being inspiring and creative are better than ones that sacrifice their narrative integrity to be thought-provoking. Uh, my actual favorite movies, a uh, movie called Tremors, Came out in 1990 with Kevin Bacon, Giant Worms, really good. Heat, a uh, heist movie directed by Michael Mann, Jurassic Park, The Lion King, uh, Army of Darkness, the movie Black Knight ripped this off, and uh, Spider-Man 2002. Um, my qualifications for is a kino. Um, I did alienate myself a lot in high school. I wore baggy jeans and I had a bull cut. Uh, true story, I got in an argument with this fucking Stacy in my English class because I was playing Magic the Gathering, and I unironically replied, I'm a gamer, not because I don't have a life, but because I choose to have many. I'm not making this up. This actually fucking happened. Uh, my real qualification for is Aquino. Um, I recently graduated a uh, screenwriting course last year, and I'm just working on a uh, feature film script with a friend of mine right now. Uh, as far as what I look for critically in a movie, I'm a big structure guy. I like well-rounded characters, strong themes, and a uh, clear plot, and uh, really good uh, story beats. Uh, as far as me on a podcast, I'm definitely much more of a sleeper hit kind of guy. I bounce off people a lot easier than I am in a vacuum. Uh, 
I definitely become a lot more animated when I argue. Um, but it's in good fun. I don't mean any malice or disrespect towards anyone. Uh, I can do impressions. I can do Carl Weezer from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <clears throat> Gonna cry. Piss your pants. Maybe shit and cum. Uh, I can also do Joe Swanson, but uh, we don't have time for that. Uh, I am generally, I'm genuinely a fan of Is It Kino, and uh, the podcast has helped me through a lot of emotional slumps. I'm not going to get into any uh, t- tugging at the heartstrings bullshit. I think it's really petty. Uh, as a whole, I don't always agree with everyone at Is It Kino, especially Florian, <laughs> but the show is always in good spirit. I think that movies are supposed to be enjoyable, and I do really enjoy the level of humility on Is It Kino. Thank you very much for listening to my audition. I hope you consider me. Bye. Okay, I uh, I like this guy a lot. I like everything about him. I think he he sounds good. He's self aware. Has uh, an actual philosophy when it comes to film critique. Uh oh, four dollars. Goodbye, animated demon. I'm deleting your application. <laughs> yeah, I think this guy's an easy in. Uh, definitely one of the best so far. I'll tell him uh, he's in the running. I definitely want to get him on an episode once Erich is gone. I think that'll be fun. Okay. Uh, there's no audio here. Bad sign. I think I'm going to skip this one for now, Corey. We need an audio to hear. Mr. Jones, I would like to apply. This is from Jesse, a.k.a. God. I would like to apply for the position of soy boy cuck on your podcast, Is It Kino, due to the unfortunate leaving of the precious soy boy cuck after the endgame review. You can find a sample of my voice in the audio file attached. I apologize if I sound like a toad. I'm a bit sick at the moment. I'm a band streamer from Arizona with a dying following who is trying to start a podcast of my own. Starring on your podcast would be great exposure for me, and my humor is quite similar to yours, so I'm sure we would... Be fucking like birds of the feather if we speak again. Again. Here's some basic information on me if you give a flying shit. Name, Jesse. Gender, male. Mental illness, anxiety disorder, anime. Internet status, hated by companies, jacked off with by consumers. Hobbies, comedy, music, writing. Guys, stop stop listing music as a hobby. Everybody likes music. If you play an instrument, put that. But everybody listens to music. Humor, deep shade of royal blue. Favorite color, pink. Waifu, Luna Lovegood. This is a man of taste. Okay, let's take a listen. That was a hanging monkey, man. I'm recording a soundbite for you so you know what my voice and microphone audio quality sounds like. See you later. The voice is okay, but I think the microphone, or at least the environment, need to be improved. It sounded like he was sort of in a cave. Lots of background noise. What do you guys think of Jesse, a.k.a. God? Give me a yay or a nay. Watch this monkey boy. It is SFW. Okay. Now we've got yay. No, that's for animated demon. Nay, 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 nay. Well, what are you going to do? Poor guy. What could this link be? Let's take a look. See. Oh, okay. I actually watched this yesterday. It's Billy Corrigan rides a roller coaster. Why can't all donations be that wholesome? (laughs) What a nice video. You know what? Speaking of wholesome videos, I think it's time we all just sat back and enjoyed something we've never seen before. Not happen. She did not exist. Okay? Um, And this is going to make sense. Just 
bear with me, bear with me. So, uh, I have one thing, I have one reason that this is completely true, and that is because she wrote a book. In the 1800s, a blind and deaf woman wrote a book. That's all three red flags. Blind, deaf, 1800s. Okay? Number four. Number four. Uh, I'm getting heated. <clears throat> Zoomers are becoming boomers. Um, now, Zoomers is a kind of crazy, wacky term for basically millennials. Millennials are getting mindsets that make them think that they are boomers, um, such as hating the new generation with uh, what with all the TikToks and the MySpaces. They don't. They're acting like not liking it is just like a really interesting thing. He's getting too close to the truth. Stop this. <laughs> okay. We'll we'll get to the end of it eventually. Delete this now, or my lawyers will be contacting you. <laughs> Oof. I've heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> let's uh let's move on. Depression chamber, depression chamber. Yeah, yeah, okay. Depression chamber. Depression chamber. Is it Kino audition? Here we go. Hi, Mumkey. I'm a longtime fan of the show and would really appreciate a shot on the podcast. I'm also working on a Depression Chamber entry to send you, so be on the lookout for that. Here's one from Josh. Hello, Mumkey. My name is Josh, and I'm auditioning for, of course, the America's Next Top e position on the Is It Kino podcast. And I feel like I am, would be a good fit on Is It Kino because I've seen almost every single episode uh, some of the old ones I didn't get a chance to see because of your channel getting removed, but I've seen all of the new ones on your new channel. And I feel like Erich's just gotten a bit out of date. He is a fan favorite, but he is a old, uninformed liberal. And I feel like I'm a... Well, I don't feel like it. I am a based right-wing teen. And yes, I do own a MAGA hat. So, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a chance on the podcast, Monkey. It'd be dream come true. Okay, Josh says it's his dream come true, but what does the chat say? Give me a yay or a nay, folks. Should we keep him in consideration? He's not an atom automatic join foe show. Should we even think about him at all? Nay, 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 fuck him, gay, boring, boo, based in red pilled. Nay, nay, nay. Donation that says nay. Sorry, Josh. I thought you were okay, Josh. I got nothing against you, Josh, but I can't have people on my podcast who everybody hates. That's Erich's job. And it's not like we're trying to replace Erich here. That wouldn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, oh my god, this guy meant... He met Quentin Reviews? Oh, oh god. Uh, how do I show this without doxing him? Uh, can I open this in a new tab? Come on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Attached is my Is It Kino voice application. I'm a 19-year-old music student from Alabama. I have been a patron since your channel got taken down, but a viewer since 2016. I eager eagerly await new episodes of Is It Kino and would love to participate in this tournament. Also, I could potentially be the only kinographer who has met Quentin reviews. I forgot to mention Quentin's three-and-a-half-hour review of B-Movie when I was discussing my favorite films of all time in the application. You guys want to see a picture of this guy meeting Quentin reviews? Let's see if I can find a way to pull it up. Browse. Downloads. Q. Here we go. This guy met Quentin reviews. I don't know how long the contest is going to last. I have no idea. I have not planned ahead. <laughs> what do you think? We'll listen to his audio in a sec. I just really want to... Really want to... Okay. 
Okay, let's take a listen to the audio. Oh my god, I have to download it with Drive? I have to, like, log in and shit? Fuck off, just play it. Okay. Hello, Mumpke Jones. This is Grant Earl. This is my voice application for the America's Next Top Keenographer tournament. Uh, I know that you want to know about my political opinion, so let's start there. I would say that I'm, I'm left-leaning as a person, but I think that the political system in America is just in need of, of major reformation on both sides. You know, the Democrats are just as much in disarray as the Republicans are, but Trump is the most entertaining president I've ever seen in my lifetime, and I am perfectly <laughs> willing to admit that Erich is very blue-pilled. Um, as far as race relations go, I feel like kind of, kind of the same. We're definitely in need of some reformation in terms of how we interact with each other. There's so much divisiveness. I feel like it's a, like it's a cold civil war right now, just because everybody's on thin ice. You know, everybody's just trying to say the right things. But uh, one thing I respect about Mumpke Jones is that he rarely cares about playing PC, which is why I think you and you and Erich play off each other so well. As far as my favorite movies go, my number one favorite movie is Swiss Army Man. If you haven't seen that, I totally recommend you check it out. It's uh, Daniel Radcliffe and Paul Dano. It's a, um, a suicidal man who has to be convinced that life is worth living by a dead body. Um, definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. I've met the director. He was actually from my state, Alabama. He's from Birmingham. Um, another one of my favorites would have to be uh, Whiplash by Damien Chazelle. Uh, and then a, a small little movie that popped up on Netflix recently that's quickly become a favorite of mine. It's called Paddleton, and it seems right up your alley, Mumpke. If you haven't seen it, I would totally recommend you check it out. It's Ray Romano and Mark Duplass, and this guy uh, gets terminal cancer, and he has a. They basically go on a road trip to get the assisted suicide drug, and man, it get it goes to some real heavy places at some points, but. Uh, and, and as far as my microphone goes, I uh, I'm using the the normie mic, the blue blue snowball, but I do listen to Is It Kino all the time. I eagerly await every episode, and I would definitely appreciate a chance to come on and talk about a movie with you guys, because I'm really, really into movies. All right, thank you, Mumkey, for listening. Appreciate it. Take care. Have a great day. Okay, we had some fun playing with this photo, but should he have fun on the podcast, folks? What do you think of Grant here? What do you think of Grant? Give me a yay or a nay. Should we have him in consideration? Should we send him an invite? One yay. Nay, nay. He's just like Erich. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Give him a chance. Yay. Yes, yay. Okay. I'll give him a Jewish star, so we'll keep him in mind. We'll keep him in mind. Oh my god, we have a depression chamber from a 16-year-old girl, folks! Can't wait for that one! Oh, alcoholic goat sent another thing two hours ago. I sent you a shitty version of my audition, and I've since recorded it. It wasn't happy with how it turned out, oh, but we already invited you on. Oh, he sent in another one. He was the one that we liked. He thought wasn't good enough. Do you guys want to listen to alcoholic goat's second audition? This is the guy that we all liked. Huh. I thought his first audition was damn good. Interesting. Welcome to my audition for Is It Kino? Political Opinion. Adolf Hitler was a champion of the German people, and much of his efforts to cleanse the earth of the impure led to great developments. Race in America. The Aryan race is being ridiculed by its inferior kin over whether or not there should be an N-word pass. Clearly, the degenerates are trying to overthrow the balance of society. Favorite movies, The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser. The Mummy Returns, starring Brendan Fraser. The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, starring Brendan Fraser. Journey to the Center of the Earth. Starring Brendan Fraser and Star Wars The Last Jedi. 
Thank you for listening to my audition for Is It Kino? Hey, Jim. I wanted to say thank you for listening to my audition for Is It Kino? No, it really does mean a lot to me. Thank you for your time. I just hope my audio is good enough for consideration. Okay, alcoholic goat, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Why would why would you say don't open prior email? Only listen to this one. The other one was genuine. It was heartfelt. It, it was good. This is some dog shit, alcoholic goat. I don't care about your Burger King foot lettuce impression. I want to know who's coming on the show. You're still you're still in the running, but I don't know. I don't trust your judgment that you thought this would be better than the previous one. Will you ever play GTA 5? Yeah, I've played it on stream before. I could probably play it again. No, I, I played GTA 4 on stream, actually. Thank you for subscribing, Fuzz. How we art? How we art? Let's see what Billy Joe the Hedgehog has to say. Great. Now we just got all you stream kids sending in memes, I have to imagine. Yo, Mumkey, this is Billy Joe the Hedgehog, a.k.a. Baggy Shuss, a.k.a. the realest motherfucking G you have ever seen. Uh he sounds like the guy from that Mario series that we watch on here, like the, the teenage Mario, the guy with the speech impediment. It sounds like that guy. Um, I'm using a voice recording app on a phone. I'm, I'm, I'm literally just doing this to get the attention of you and your chat. So, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a complete submissive uh, uh, cuck, much like Erich. Uh, although, I believe that if you're looking for an actual cuck, my older brother would probably be a much better suit, suitable candidate. Because... Another man is literally fucking his wife, probably right now. Anyways, I hope the quality of this recording isn't complete dog shit. I can be very loud, as you can this is probably four tell. Minutes a lot long. of these, this voice recording, is showing a lot of red, which scares me. That, that's definitely an indicator. I have Italian blood, you see. So, I can be loud like Erich, but unlike Erich, I will never watch any of the movies that you ask me to watch slash review. Uh, even if I can just go to the Family Dollar and get them through Redbox or something. I, I, am, I am literally too lazy to watch a movie. And I will literally just scream the entire time. So I think I would be a great host okay. as a for- All right. All right, Billy Joe, I think we need a bit of a palate cleanser after that one. Let's watch that, uh, p the Billy Corgan Rides a Roller Coaster video again, just to make ourselves feel better after that. Yeah. All right, let's watch this, f this funny roller coaster video to feel better. And it doesn't really give anybody individuality. Um, I was in my, uh, my friend's car, and we were bumping a new Young Bands mixtape, and some 30-year-old boomer with a white monster came up and just said, hey, that music's trash. You should listen to some ACDC. Okay. Thanks for projecting your opinion. <laughs> Number five. NASA does not believe in pole shifts. NASA does not believe in pole shifts. <laughs> hey, where were you going? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They just don't. They don't. They don't. You're right. Um, I know what I'm talking about. I played Detroit Become Human, all, all of the endings. All of them. All of them. Wow. Um, and number, number six. Number six is that history is not what we think. The biggest component of that is that Helen Keller did not happen. <laughs> Number two is that other historical things, like the Salem Witch Trials, were also very like skeptical of. They're all really blurry. We don't know if they happened exactly like they did. Uh, another example is that like uh, a lot of people uh, misunderestimate the amount of people that Stalin killed. If you stop, we will donate $100. <laughs> uh, 
everybody's like, oh, it's five million, it's three million. It's more like, well, like maybe 2,000, 3,000? Not a big deal. Um, and then I'd like to end this. I have a collection of things that I'm going to... Um, so, my final, my final point, uh, humans as a society are devolving. We live in a society where everything that we stand for and everything that we are taught is causing us to breed into less Is it not matching up? Less optimal being. What? Now, in Did it desync? In 30 years, we could, hey, thanks. Uh, let me do that. Um, <laughs> Thirty years, yeah, 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 got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Thirty years. Ah. Maybe we could become like I don't know, interdimensional eighth being. What eighth the fuck being. is happening? The Christ consciousness. Oh looking. my god. Okay, I need I need a real palate cleanser this time, folks. <laughs> okay. Even I couldn't handle the autism that time. I'm the autistic king, and even I couldn't stand this shit. What the fuck? We <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Billy Corgan. <laughs> that fixed it. Now we're all happy again. Uh, da -da -da -da. I, I was paid money to ignore animated demons application, so I guess we'll skip that one. <laughs> When's the Nuzlocke? Good question. This is going on a lot longer than I thought it would. And I I'm recording... Boomer versus Zoomer with the Stereos in like an hour, so we might not get any Nuzlocke tonight, unfortunately. I'm so sorry for lying in the title, folks. I am listening to you at this very moment. This is from Centurion Gaming. Forgive me, I am far better at typing out messages. I normally would polish this more, but you are currently reviewing auditions and you leave me no choice but to rush out something hasty and half-formed. Unfortunately, I'm not like eBitch in any way besides the fact that I watch far too many movies for my own good. I am unfortunately thin, conservative, and have a well-paying job. But I have the ability to do something no one else can, you see? I don't even have to watch movies. Uh, I don't like that gimmick. Oh, I didn't even watch it, but I'll come on. I really don't like that. Hopefully he's just kidding. I think your fans would greatly appreciate the, me this because they seem to love to hate Ebitch, so if they wanted, I could just reconstruct him from the opinions he has already given. No. If you want to, go ahead and stop there, but if you want me to keep memeing, go on. Some of my favorite movies include The Evil Within, Dogma, Stop, Scott Pilgrim, The Black Swan. My least favorite are American Beauty, Citizen Kane, Vertigo, and Ex Machina. Fuck off. Ex Machina is one of my favorite of the decade. Okay, let's listen. Hello, hello. This is Jacob from Florida making sure that my mic works in regards to the Is It Kino podcast. No, your mic did not work. Yeah, Ex Machina is one of my favorite films of the decade. I, I always wanted to do an episode of Is It Kino with E. Rich of, uh, like, top 20 films of uh, the 2010s. But I was going to wait until the end of this year, of course, because we haven't seen every film of the decade yet. But now that E. Rich is leaving... Oh, what, am I going to do that with Florian and he'll say fucking Hobbit for all three of his... An it's, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's unfortunate. Because I, I would love to do a, a top ten films of the decade once the decade is over. Ex Machina is a f smart movie for dumb people. I wouldn't even say it's a smart movie. I would just say it's a great, thrilling film with uh, great tension. And uh, uh, I like the reversal of who we think are the villains and who we think are the heroes. Yeah, yeah. The way that they give information r really shines in the movie because you question your assumptions and by the end you realize, oh, yeah, no, I'm the asshole for assuming that this guy was the asshole, ain't I? 
people think it's more clever than it is. Maybe that's just you not wanting to enjoy it. <laughs> like if people are pointing out things about the film, you can't deny that uh, the the things exist. I don't know. You don't have to like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> we got an email from Annie Dauman. That probably is an animated demon. Let's take a listen to this one. Yeah, the dance scene, I mean, it blew my mind in the theater because it was so tense right before that, and I couldn't believe that the movie was doing what it was doing. Let's take a listen to Cartoon Devil 69123. Okay, I recorded this like um like a minute ago, um, but I fucked up, uh, so I'm not to do this stupid fucking bit again. Hey, it's me, your good friend, Animated Demon. I'm a pretty funny guy. I uh, I I do things. My my voice, my uh, mic quality is great, as you can tell. Um, I I, I collect. I have, I have collect collectibles. Sorry, I'm just so nervous. I I just love to i just wanted i just want to be on this podcast it's just so nervous man <laughs> uh well but uh, yeah um i'm not very political come in hey, did you check out the trash yes dad i, I took out the trash <laughs> what's up with all the rockets who are you talking to I'm I'm talking to my friend Jimmy. Uh, I, I'm talking to my friend Jimmy. Yeah. Yep. Jimmy, uh, you know, you know, in real life. Yeah, Dad. Yeah, I I know him in real life. I promise. Are you sure? Is she asking you for any inappropriate pic? Dad, Dad, I'm not. I don't do that anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't do that. <laughs> All right. Love you, son. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I I collect um these little amiibo figures. I'm pretty dorky, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm pretty political. Um, uh, yeah, I like politics and stuff. Um, I like talking about Trump. I'm not, I'm not really a liberal. I just don't really care. <laughs> Whoever keeps the world rolling. Anyway, uh, uh, just, you know, pick me. I love you. I think Destiny in the chat said it best. Animated Demon, you definitely have autism. <laughs> what the fuck? I love Demon now. <laughs> definitely ask some real questions and interview. He's pretty funny. He doesn't have the, I don't think, the microphone quality we would want from an hour-long podcast, but he's definitely funny in this two-minute comedy skit. You know, Demon's a funny guy. So give me a yay or an a. Should we, uh, should we invite him on, folks? Maybe in a Discord call he'll sound okay. Since that's how we record the podcast. Yeah, 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 okay. Now, that was an animated demon. That was Cartoon Devil. All right, we've got a bunch of other people sending in applications right now. Listen, we're not doing this all day. If you want to send in your application, just send it to monkeyjones at gmail.com. Try to specify in the subject line that it is an audition for Kino and not a depression chamber since I'm using the same email for both. But we will do this again. We'll do another live stream maybe next week, maybe in a few days. Listening to more of these submissions, I, I think I owe the people at least half an hour of Pokemon Nuzlocke, but I'm going to go uh, take a bathroom break real quick. Give me one second to... Oh, God, how embarrassing. Should we... Should I make you guys... What would you guys rather watch during the bathroom break? Would you rather watch more of that guy giving his TED Talk in front of his class, or would you rather watch an ad? Tell me, right now, ad or TED Talk? What do you guys want? An ad? <laughs> Sheep says an ad. <laughs> Everybody's begging me to play an ad. All right. Here's your ad. 
Uh, I don't know if that went through, but if you're a subscriber, you won't see it anyway. I'm gonna go piss. The boys are back! You got an ad of Yo Mama? I got an ad for a game and console I already own? Well, I guess more money for me, less money for them, baby. That's how it works. Oh. That was quick, yeah. I, uh, that's a, the good thing about having a small bladder. You might go every five minutes, but it's only for five seconds, baby. The ad didn't work well. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right, let's see if I'm smart enough to set up my Pokemon. Get some Pokemans go. I, just, I need to crop this. How do I crop my shit? Professional streamer, Monkey Jones. Okay, let's crop the shit out of the left. Crop the shit out of the right. There you go, that's better. That's not too bad, I guess. I don't fucking care. Who gives a shit? Let's get Pokemans going. A little bit of Pokemon. It's got to change the name of the stream at least. And Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. Not going to go too long because I have to record Boomer vs. Zoomer with Asterios very soon. Let's see if I can even find where I hit it. Now I've, I've got... Uh, Smashing pumpkins stuck in my head. Horrible. What a horrible thing to have. Can't even listen to the beautiful song. It's just stuck in that one note of him screaming in my head. I want to hear the whole thing. I don't even know where the game file is. <laughs> Give me one second. There's a reason why I set up these games before I start streaming. <laughs> there it is. And if we do window capture, which one of you is my video game? I guess we'll just search for it. Uh, do 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 window capture. Let's go on Pokemans. Here we go. Okay. Good to go. Here we go, folks. Pokemans! You're in love with Monkey Jones? What a horrible mistake. <laughs> Let's get these big-ass cans off of us. Plug in some real man. Real man headphones. The shit that comes with your phone. When we last left off in the Nuzlocke, we had just defeated Lieutenant Surge, and I genuinely don't remember where to go from here. I think I... I don't know where to go, actually. Somebody's gonna have to red pill me on where to go. Tyrone, that's right.
The team right now is Wellware. The Ivysaur, level 27. Uh, no, there's no specific guidelines. Do whatever you want. Just send in your voice. Hectorito, the level 26 Nito King. Uh, nothing to cut. Rick Jr. Head back to Cerulean, thank you. Oh, that's right. I gotta go through that, uh, that one cave. The Oddish, level 19. Fun E. The level 13 Spiro. Dick Biscuit. The level 20 Diglett. And snack a bell, the level seven snake. Great. Let's. Man, we got a lot of poison on the team, a lot of ground, but that's the nature of a Nuzlocke. We don't really get to pick what we get, do we? Let's go head that way. And uh, in ear headphones are the superior choice. They are when I'm talking, because I can't hear myself when I have the cans on, and I'm too autistic to speak. A manky to mock me for the manky that died the last time we played. Let's dig him. You dig? Let's see. I don't know if you guys can hear the game. You read my comment again? I never been so happy. Well, let's see how happy you are now. Noise canceling headphones for the autistic boy. No, I. The problem is I need to hear myself. Otherwise, I'll have no idea whether or not I'm yelling. True autism in its purest form, folks. You have no idea. Genuinely diagnosed, they say. Okay, folks, let's uh, let's have a heart to heart. Uh, some of you may know I've been watching a lot of Wings of Redemption lately. He's a Twitch streamer. He's a bit of a lol cow. Everybody just goes on his stream and trolls him day in and day out until he gets mad and screams at the chat, or starts crying, and turns it off. I didn't spell biscuit wrong, that's how the guy told me to spell it. And I'm thinking, first of all, this would be a great candidate for the next episode of The Rise, Fall, and Decay, and I think that's who I might go with. But also I'm thinking, you know, you've got these, these streamer lol cows like DSP, who's known as the King of Hate. You have Wings, who is the king of rage and the king of Wendy's chili. Perhaps I should learn a lesson from their failures and become, perhaps, the king of optimism. The king of positivity, folks. Could you imagine? Shouldn't have used Scratch. Monkey Jones, a source of positivity and love and life. A stream that if you tune into it, other than a depression chamber, perhaps, you won't be brought down by some sad sack trying to make you feel sorry for him so that you'll give him pity donations? Disgusting. Uh, bell spread I don't think is poison. We should switch. What if we were just a happy, fun place, folks? Is that too gay? I don't know. What are your thoughts? The king of depression? On Monday nights with the depression chamber, but when I when I think about how uh, how I feel when I'm not streaming and I want to watch somebody's stream and I'm like man I sure do want to fucking kill myself man I sure do wish I had something to cheer me up to watch for three hours right now I watch Wings of Redemption but lately it's more of a downer than anything else <laughs> the trolling is even getting to me because it's like this isn't fun anymore they're just torturing this fucking man I wish there was somebody. Who was just like, oh yeah, he's gonna do some goofy shit. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a happy time. And I'm like, well, could I do that? I'd have to, f I'd have to fake a lot of happiness, wouldn't I? <laughs> I'd have to fake a lot of optimism. So I've also been thinking, maybe, for the first time, perhaps I should ask my doctor about trying an SSRI medication. Wings of Redemption uses Lexapro. There's a whole bunch of them out there. I'm thinking, could this be for me? Maybe I should actually try it. I've just heard so many horror stories about how they turn you into a zombie. You know, I don't want an item. So I don't know. So many life changes on the horizon, potentially. I don't know which path I should take, folks. What do you guys think? How often are you going to stream now? I can't keep up with these highlights at this point. If you're going to start doing this every day, I might have to skip the Pokemon. 
Uh, yeah, it's I don't have a set schedule yet. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Maxified Channel. If you have to skip Pokemon, that's okay. You can skip whatever you want. It's great, but be bit. Uh, Sheep's talking about taking medicine. It's great, but just be very careful if you ever go off it. Well. Well. Try a low dose. I'm already a zombie. MDMA? What is that? Illegal drugs? Illegal drugs? Don't you dare send them to my P.O. box that can be found down below the, the stream. Don't you dare. I do not want acid sent to my P.O. box. It's illegal. That's a felony. Don't do it. Don't. It's basically Molly. Don't send that either. Do not send those things through USPS. It's fucking illegal. Come to my house and give it to me in person. <laughs> <laughs> I take a Prozac with a shot of Patron every morning. Hey, would you ever do Nuzlocke for other Pokemon games? Yeah, man, I've done Nuzlocke for almost every single generation. Unfortunately, most of the footage is missing. Oh, God, <laughs> is somebody going to die before we make it back? Uh, eight health? I think we can make that. I think we can make that. Let's count. Let's count. This might be fun. One, two, three... Four. I don't think we're gonna make it. Five. No, definitely not. Let's get an antidote. We tried, funny. Should I puppy my coworker? She's pretty cute. I'm guessing that meant fuck. Steven, the way I see it, and I don't mean to be a YOLO boy, but at the end of the day, you really do only live once. Do you wanna be think of think of Inception? When um what is the name of the Asian guy in Inception? Yato or some shit? Kato? I don't fucking know his name. But he's like, they put the old man makeup on him. He's been living in the dream world for like 50 years. He's an old man filled with guilt and regret. One day that will be you. Unless you follow your dreams, Bastion. Don't keep your feet on the ground. You want to fuck that hot co-worker? Go do it so that when you're a 95-year-old old Asian man, you don't think, why didn't I even try to fuck that co-worker? Why... Why didn't I even try to live my dreams, Bastion? Watch the never-ending story. It'll change your life. Watch Inception. It'll change your life. Free brick bronze. That's a, that's a meme nobody should remember. <laughs> that's from long ago. Eat yet. Yeah, corn pizza. How much would you regret it if you were an old man and you realized I never even tried corn pizza? We all made fun of Florian so much for eating corn pizza, but we never even tried to eat it. It might be good. It just might be delicious. <laughs> get that pussy, otherwise you're gonna regret it. It's not that you have to get the pussy, it's that you should at least try. If there's something you want, man, why not at least try? Rick Jr., let's see if you can fight Machop. It was number eight on the billboard charts, yeah, and he also cucked me and got sheep over. Tragedy. Uh-oh. Rick Jr., I don't think you can take this Machop unless you put him to sleep right the fuck now. Okay, let's absorb some of that health back. Hopefully he stays asleep. Corn pizza isn't good. I've had it. I hate it. <laughs> Thank you, Johan Schmidt. We all know Florian is full of shit. He's been known for his shit taste for years now. Florian is fucking weird. Who the hell eats corn pizza? What, what drives me crazy is that it's an option on the menu at the pizza parlor near his house. It's not that he made a corn pizza and said, oh yeah, you gotta try this crazy thing I invented. It's that it's literally a menu item that's normal in Austria. That's what drives me crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is that the standard? I'm from Iowa. That's where 95% of the world's corn is grown and we don't put corn on motherfucking pizza. And we have an overabundance of it. We throw corn away by the barrel because we have too much. We don't think to put it on pizza. I will fucking cut anyone who offers me a corn pizza. <laughs> oh, man, Rick Jr., you're doing so well. Did he just get a crit? Oh, well, he's dead. We won. Rick Jr. won the day. And he leveled up. There we go. Uh-oh, Onyx. I think you can take on Onyx. Even at 60% uh, health, absorb him. The tackle shouldn't do that much. No, you'll absorb all that right back. You thought pineapple on pizza was sin? 
I'm not gonna lie, I'd rather eat corn pizza than pineapple on pizza. I'm not a big fan of pineapple as it is. Too citrusy! Too much acid in my mouth! Corn is so sweet. Get some butter corn on that pizza. Delicious. Cheer 10. Now, uh, this is why the Austrians lost World War One because they were too busy eating corn pizza? Could it be? Is this the... You guys remember Twitch Plays Pokemon? I think this part took them three years because somebody kept pushing down. <laughs> you push it down once and you fucking jump the fence. <laughs> Corn is also in shit and on Burgers number 8 mixtape. Mushroom pizza is trash. No, I like mushrooms on pizza. I like mushrooms in general, though. I also like black olives on pizza on a supreme pizza from Casey's, folks. You dig? Let's go. I need more drink. Fuck you, mushrooms are epic. Thank you, ya boy, Willy. That's right. No! Why didn't you do that while I was digging? He's fucking dead. Yeah, there's no way Dick Biscuit survives that one. Fuck me. Should have done it while I was digging. Yeah, there goes the guy who helped us win the third gym. Alright, take out our aggression on this Onyx. F in the chat. Tragedy has has fallen again. Goddamn self-destruct bullshit. <laughs> uh, bind. Oh, that's the one that just keeps going forever. Great. <laughs> to be fair, Mexicans have corn ice cream. Hmm. Not quite the sprinkle I was looking for. Dick Biscuit went home. Oh, uh, we should. I should have a sound bite ready of uh, uh, Brad Dassey. I'm coming home every time somebody dies. Yeah, every time somebody dies, post F and post Brad Dassey emoji. Hey, at least Rick went up another level. I guess we can go have a funeral now. Whoa! Rick Jr.'s evolving into gloom! Speaking of gloom. After having our friend die, now we got some real gloom. We're not the king of positivity. We're the king of gloom, folks. Fruit of the gloom underpants is what I'm wearing today, baby. <laughs> I should be the king of horrible, shitty puns that not even your dad would find funny. <laughs> the king of laughing at his own shitty, horrible jokes. <laughs> oh, God, somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. Okay, Gloom, let's see what you can do. This guy probably has Onyx as well. In real life, what Onyx would smash that fucking thing? You know nothing about real life Pokemon shenanigans. We'll find out in a, in a month and a half when Detective Pikachu comes out. Gloom, I do not think this is the right match for you. <laughs> let's move on out. Uh, the only option we have is Hectorito. One day Hectorito will hopefully learn Earthquake. Really? You were going for bite when you should have used a fire move? Let's bubble beam this bad boy since we don't have... D we wasted our only dig TM on that diglet. Fuck me. At least we didn't give him goddamn earthquake. Now nobody else can learn dig. Oh well. It's a furry Pokemon? No, that's just a dog. <laughs> don't confuse real life animals with furries, please, for the love of God. <laughs> I don't need that sin. <laughs> Charmander. Turn on the Charmander. Pants come right off, folks! Bubble beam him. Laughed my ass off when I heard Lupita plays Bongo's voice in Us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did not have the effect I think they were going for. Gave me and my audience quite the chuckle, as Florian might say, while munching on a corn pizza. Let's see if Gloom is a better match for this guy. Diglets, when will they learn? Hey! I see what you did there, and I don't approve. Dios, Dio. <laughs> don't do that again. Beedrill. Nope, another bad matchup, but I don't know if Beedrill even has any bug moves. But then again, we can't hurt it other than, what, cut? No, thank you. But who else could do it? Funny is too low of level. Let's see how much damage you do to Funny. Focus energy. Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, God, he's getting pumped. Never mind. Hectorito, please. 
Daddy, come back! Yeah, here comes a crit. Okay, thank God we switched out. He's doing two hull damage. Juicing up! That's right. You got me fucking torqued. <laughs> Focus energy got me fucking torqued! Or is this the generation where focus energy actually reduces the ability to get a crit? Maybe I was scared of nothing. Funny levels up. Beedrill again. Let's change out. We need to level up funny at the very least. We need more diversity on this team. Force diversity. Yeah, you're pretty sure that focus energy is glitched? Well, shit. Let's peck him then. Fury attack. That might have been a mistake. Okay, six... At most, he can do 30, unless he gets a crit. Okay, we're fine. But Peck won't even do half. Nope. Funny, it was funny while it lasted. But let's switch back to, I guess, Hectorito. Always back to the staple of the team. Once Hectorito dies, the Nuzlocke dies, folks. I haven't shaved in weeks, so basically I'm Mumkey. Uh, I'm pretty clean shaven today. I mean, not down here, but up here I am. Because I had to go to the doctor, and I wasn't going to walk into the doctor's office this morning with a disgusting... 15-year-old uh, kid who hasn't shaved ever. Stash. No, thank you. No, thank you. No self-respecting doctor will serve that patient. Oh, I haven't caught anything on this route. I guess we're catching something right now. Let's do it. Let's put it to sleep. Give me something good that we haven't caught yet. Have we caught Rattata yet? I can't remember, and it doesn't tell you if you've had it before. I don't remember. Have we caught Rattata yet? Neckbeard gang. I guess we'll catch it and I'll go see if I already have one. Because I honestly don't remember. You did. It died. Okay, so we've had one before. That means we can try something else. Rattata's too OP. Uh, we can at least kill this thing for the experience then. Dead rats. Rattata for Ubers. Maybe back in the day, that Hyper Fang's nothing to fuck with. Super Fang. Automatic cut somebody's health in half. There you go. Alright. Let's find something that we haven't caught before. And folks, we're, we're basing nicknames off of donations. So if you throw in just any amount of bits or whatever the fuck, you can pick a name. Otherwise, I'll turn to the chat for it. Because uh, if we're going to be honest, the thing will probably be dead. <laughs> Within a couple battles, anyway. Nope, another Rattata. Great. Can't escape! Wowee! This Rattata wants to fight! Okay, you asked for it. I'll take you out in three absorbs. Wasn't Kiro next? Oh, that's right. We gotta find a dog. We gotta find a wolf. Name it Kiro. Yeah, Kiro the Wolf. He's a hero. <laughs> He's the most heroic furry who ever lived. In my humble opinion. Kiro the Hero. That's right. If your name rhymes with hero, you must be one. I would want Kiro to be Growlithe, but I don't get to choose what I catch. Anything other than a Spiro or a Rattata or an Oddish, but we probably won't find any variety. Nope. Fuck it. Fuck it. We'll go catch something in the cave. No nothing's gonna happen up here, folks. And Kiro's a good name, not biased. Okay, Kiro Fibian, whatever you say. <laughs> you can pretend that's you. Have you heard the story of uh, the Ki of Kiro the hero? No, it's not a story that the Jedi would tell you. <laughs> Please don't be a crit. Okay, we're fine. Nah, oh, flinched. Kiro the Wolf is in this chat. I'd like to have him on the Monkey Jones interview show. If you, if there are any uh, furry community members in the audience who can get in touch with Kiro, let him know Monkey Jones wants to do an unbiased interview. We'll find out the truth of what happened. Did he actually do that <laughs> with, uh, with dead puppies? We'll find out. But first we have to have a funeral for a Diglett, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll heal my motherfucking Pokemon. Let's go! Okay. Deposit our friend Dick Biscuit. Level 21. Didn't even get to evolve. 
Yeah, goodbye. Uh, I don't even want to withdraw the other two guys. We'll just catch something stronger in the cave. If I was a furry, I might kill myself out of shame. Me too, sleepy butt determined. Me too! I think that's... Hashtag me too, first of all. Second of all, I think everybody on this planet Earth should agree to that. If you wake up finding yourself being a furry, <laughs> there's only one way out. It's gonna look like a collar, but uh, it doesn't function as one. You wrap it around your neck just the same. Here we go. We might need a couple Pokeballs. Alright. Let's go fight a few more guys and catch something in the cave. Do you think a furry has ever tried to fuck a box jellyfish? I highly doubt it. First of all, it's not furry. <laughs> Second of all, they've probably never owned one. Third of all, a third reason. How do you like that? A scorpion, on the other hand, yeah. Even I have tried to fuck a scorpion. We'll go into that another time. <laughs> it's a long story. Not to be confused with my cock, which is very short. <laughs> what are we talking about? Alright, we've got the hell of a team now. Two good Pokemon, two mid-range Pokemon, and one dog shit Pokemon. Put your chat on stream using Streamlabs to make my highlights easier to edit. Oh, Maxified, is that you? I didn't realize you were the highlight guy. Yeah, you don't have to put Pokemon in the highlights. That's fine. But putting the chat on screen, that seems like a real pain. Sounds like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't want to do that. I like having the chat not on screen. Let's cut up this Caterpie. Monkey fuck scorpions confirmed. Can you blame me? Have you heard Rock You Like a Hurricane, folks? Good song. Good song. Super bug Pokemon. Yeah, Caterpie's really tough. Hopefully I didn't say something wrong and I'm just... You, I, I forget things I say literally five seconds after I say them, so if you're quoting me, I don't even know it. AMC Theaters just tweeted that their website is back up. Well, I already bought my ticket at a Regal Theater, unfortunately, but I would like to see if my app is working yet. Oh, I missed a call from a 1-800 number. That's too bad. I would have loved to uh, address one of those fuckers live on air. Okay. Okay, let's see if it loads up the app. Can I still get into the Fan Night event? Please. Uh, okay. Okay. It's listed. Is there a seat for me? What? Oh. Uh... No seats left. I wanted to go to the Fan Night event. That's so fucking sad. Damn it. Ah. <sighs> I woke up at 9 a.m. this morning specifically to buy this ticket and the app wouldn't work. And now that it's working, it's all sold out. Had to pay out of pocket when I had a, a subscription service that gives me free tickets. Just so that I wouldn't, so that it wouldn't be sold out, folks. I wanted to go see it so bad. No, I, I don't get to see it in IMAX. I'm going to a shitty theater. Had to pay $12. But luckily! The movie will be in theaters for more than one day, folks! That's right! I'm seeing this bad boy in IMAX probably ten times for free, motherfuckers! It's just the first time I see it, it'll have to be shitty. I'll go see it the next day, day after that, I'll see it every day in the month of May, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna see this movie a hundred times, baby! Hell yeah! Uh-oh. Oh, okay, my absorb was disabled. Yeah. It's too bad I can't go to the 5 p.m. fan event, but I'll be at the normal uh, Normie Theater at 6.30, folks. You want to come see the movie with me, you know where to find me. Go to normietheater.com forward slash Avengers. <laughs> Watch it be really bad? I don't think so. I don't think it could be bad. The Russos are three for three so far with these good Avengers movies. I don't think they could possibly fuck it up. Would you rather have Golem or Rhydon? I like Golem. Rhydon probably has a cooler design, but I just like using Golem better. They're gonna finger Thanos. Now he's gonna crawl up inside his asshole. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Pokemon is pretty boring to watch. That's why I try to spice it up by doing a Nuzlocke, so at least there's some stakes with every single battle. Something could die permanently. But I could still see why most people wouldn't give a fuck. Machop. Funny, we need to get you some experience. But you probably shouldn't stay in for one hit, because you have no HP. We have to get you to level 20 so you can evolve. Age of Ultron was bad. Yeah, well, they didn't direct Age of Ultron. They directed Captain America 2, Civil War, and Avengers Infinity War. They didn't touch that movie. That was Joss Whedon. The stream froze for a sec. I'm sorry. It's probably my fault. Thanos is going to be defeated by crippling student debt. I, th I think he's like a thousand years old. If he hasn't paid off his debt yet, then things really have gotten bad. Bernie Sanders! Come on! Come on, Bernie! Help Thanos! Forgive student loan debt! Monkey shows great representation for the autistic furry community. Well, unfortunately, you're not wrong, but I wish you were. <laughs> Absorb him one more time, Rick. Is Thanos in the Yang Gang? No, he's probably a Bernie bro. Yang Gang is, uh, he's not mainstream enough for Thanos. Let's finish him off and get all of our health back. Bernie will have cardiac arrest and die. That's what you guys said in 2016, but he's still kicking in 2020. Well, we have to assume he will be. <laughs> would I interview Low Tier God? I don't think he would come on my show, but I would love to interview him. I've seen some of his rage compilations, and he's very funny. Fuck the Yang Gang Bernie for life. That's right! That's a true Bernie bro lever! Folks, watching the stream in 160p, well, I mean, I think that's what the the game on the Game Boy was originally at 160p, so that's fair. How goes the lock? We're doing not great. Only really two good, viable Pokemon, and everything else is struggling to catch up, and then they just die. So, not the best. Let's put this cat down for a cat nap, folks! That's what I'm saying. Trump has dementia. Old politicians are a bad idea. I think Yang's only in his 50s, folks. That's not too old. Yang Gang. Oh, woke up before I even got an attack off. Ooh, this Meowth might be trouble. Let's get the fuck out of here. Rick Jr., that's enough. Gotta go to Wellware. Thank God Pursuit isn't a thing. Yang is 44. Yeah, he's plenty young. Let's get him in there. All candidates should battle in Fortnite. That would prove who's really plugged into the youth. Yang's younger than your mom. Yeah, younger than my mom, too. My mom's like 45. Unblock me on Discord. I didn't block you on Discord, Tomas. I can't understand what you were saying. Speak English, you caveman. Am I... Oh, uh, am, am I not enunciating properly? Wait, Leech Seed, I thought I was using Vine Whip. What the fuck? God damn it. You people keep distracting me. Now Wellware's gonna die. My throat is parched because I ran out of delicious LaCroix. Maybe that's why I have a caveman dialect at the moment. Okay. Black Nightmare was good. Yeah, I really liked that run, too. We can still catch something new, but first I want to go to this Pokemon Center. A randomizer. Yeah, we could probably do that next. After I finish this run. LaCroix is shit. Well, what do you drink? Tap water? Lunar plastic? You probably drink water with moon plastic in it. There's no plastic on the moon, Lunar Plastic. At least get a realistic name. How old is Nurse Joy? As old as uh, she needs to be. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Spiro, we already have one of those, don't we? Rick Jr. does not want to fight you. She's nine? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got some things to delete off my computer, folks. Bottled water? Yeah, well. 
What are you gonna do? Hey, Voltorb! That's a new one! Let's catch Voltorb! Let's catch him. Can he take a cut? If you can't handle a simple simple cut on your uh, wrist, you don't deserve to be on my team. Put him to sleep. Nurse Joy is 18. She legal boys. Well, she's also Japanese. I think the age of consent in Japan needs to be brought into question here, folks! Monkey's Anime Reviews Episode 3, folks! Pokeball, folks! And before self-destruct, did not even consider that. <laughs> uh, thank God we caught it. Okay, we're naming this Voltorb Kiro because he's about to blow up his own career. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Number 100. That's the number of animals Kiro killed and raped. Allegedly, folks. Allegedly. Allegedly. Il le Jit. Lee! Kiro. Kiro the hero, some might say. What's up, Pantsu? Oh shit, what up, monkey? <laughs> Alright. Heal him on up. Voltorb, probably not gonna be useful, but at least we have a Pokemon that can possibly explode on somebody else. Hero. Just looks like a Pokeball. Uh, tackle and Screech. Okay, nothing to worry about. We were fine the whole time. Let's go catch something new in this cave! But first, I think some people want to fight and give us free experience. Really need to get funny up to 20 at least. If Mumkey looks 12, is it pedophilic to say, I, man, I want to... Puncture that boosy. No! Because the way you look is irrelevant. It's all about your age. For some reason. <laughs> Isabella Monet might look like she's 24, but you better not touch. Don't do it. I learned that one the hard way. Hectorito, you're the only one who can fight this Pikachu. You're the only one. Whatever it takes. That's right. You think the, the big fat Pikachu is the cutest version of it? Maybe. If you're into chubby chicks, not me. Implying Monkey's Boosie hasn't been absolutely ravaged by Sheepover and her bull. Hey, did you read Sheepover's blog? That's supposed to be top secret information for Sheepover patrons only. <laughs> You can touch, just don't get caught. Ooh, uh oh. Can we even touch a Clefairy? That's my question. Furiously attack that Clefairy. Nope, does no damage. Spiro, I thought you were uh, known for high attack, low defense. Uh oh, this might be bad. <laughs> calm down, Clefairy, calm down. <laughs> Come on, it's just a Fury attack. Let's go back to Rick. When you stream in Smash. I'm so bad at Smash that people would just get mad at me, but I can play it. Chat, give me yay or nay right now. Do you want to watch me play Smash Ultimate even though I am I'm not a meta brilliant player? And I would probably lose to a level 6 computer. Would you want to watch that? Would it be fun to watch somebody who's not great at the video game that you're watching? People are always like, oh man, why are you streaming this game if you suck at it? And I'm thinking... I would love to watch somebody who sucks at a game play it and find a way to win. That's way more entertaining to me than watching fucking Zero win every match. Oh, man. Oh, best in the world. How exciting. <laughs> oh, man. Let's watch Yu-Gi-Oh. I wonder if he's going to win this duel. Oh, wait. He wins every fucking duel? How exciting. No! You want to watch Joey Wheeler, who loses sometimes to Kaiba. Did you play it? You should friend me, fuckboy. I think we do have online now. I think she paid for that so she could play Tetris 99. So I probably could play with friends online. Interesting proposal. Save it till Saturday so it can be Smash Saturday. Yeah, I do love basing my schedule off of alliteration. <laughs> That's right. Joey Wheeler must have a loose boosy. Could be. 
Please play, you can play us. You guys will absolutely destroy me, but I guess that could be funny. You have to understand, I only use King K. Rule and uh, Ganondorf, and I just use their, their heavy smash attack over and over again. <laughs> I don't know about combos and flipping through the air. If I fall off the platform, I don't know how to get back up. I w if you get me so I'm not standing on the platform, I am dead. <laughs> I don't know the combos and buttons to hit to get back up. <laughs> only with Meta Knight, because he can fly. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so I'm a very, very poor Smash player. <laughs> I guess it'll be fun to make fun of. Oh, great. We get to walk without Flash. Do I have Flash? Probably not. Is it an HM in this game? Teleport? No. Are you Flash? Thunderbolt? No. We'll find our way through the cave. Let's catch a Pokemon anyway. We're here to catch a Pokemon. Up B. Is it really that easy? Just up B? I thought you had to do a bunch of combos and shit to like get out of special scenarios. If it's just up B, then I'll probably be fine. Uh, Zubat. Pretty sure we caught a Zubat in Mount Moon and it died. Pretty sure. There's no way to tell. Nobody check the tape. We'll try again. I don't think I would get a lot of viewers from Smash. I think I'd get the usual people telling me that I suck at Smash. <laughs> but, no, we're gonna do it. We'll play Smash. In fact, maybe we'll do Girlfriend Stream. Me versus Sheep over Smash Bros. Coming at you sometime soon. That'll be my warm-up. Machop. We haven't caught Machop. Let's do Machop. We'll warm up Monkey versus Sheep over, and then I'll learn to play online. That's it. That's what we're doing. Just you wait. Mumkey Jones beats his wife live on stream. That is an accurate summation of what will happen. I will beat Sheep over on stream! In Smash Bros. Sheep, come here so I can beat you! In Smash Bros. Do you get the joke? It's that I'm beating, domestically beating my wife! In Smash Bros. Domestically, because we're inside of our home. In Smash Bros. <laughs> yep. That's right. You don't get it, Tommaso? <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> Come on, Rick! What are you missing for? Just fucking kill- Wait, no, I'm trying to catch this guy. Why am I trying to kill him? Thank God you missed Rick. You're paying attention when I'm not. <laughs> you fuckers keep distracting me with this Smash Bros. talk. What's the joke? <laughs> I don't get it. Can you explain it again? <laughs> okay, what are we naming this Machop? Nobody donated, so I don't have any names. Give me a funny name in the chat. Should we name it Domestic Abuser? 1v1 me in checkers right now. You won't? Yeah, you're right. I won't. Patchy, yo mama, sheep over. Mmm, I don't know. Beefy, sheepy. Okay, well that one made me laugh. Yeet over, name it Asperger. Well, I don't think beefy, sheepy will fit. If it does, then you win. Beefy... It could be beefy, sheep. Oh, Dick Ma- Okay, well, this guy donated. Dick Masterson, let's do it. I don't know if you want me to spell it the way you did, or... <laughs> Dick... M... MST, what is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, we probably could have fit the actual name. I don't know, we'll try. I don't give a shit. It was like two bits. Dick... Matt... Oops. It's not gonna fit the whole thing, but master, Dick Master fits. How about Dick Master? Is that better, or do you really want it to be Dick Misterson? Okay, yeah, people are I ironically laughing at Dick Master. I guess we're going with that. <laughs> okay, let's keep walking through this dark cave that I don't know which way to go. I'm sure people have this memorized and do it. Blindfolded. God damn it, I wanted a Geo, dude! 
Wanted to get my rocks off! I really do have to stop the stream soon, though, folks. Because I am podcasting with Asterios very soon. Very, very soon. This, this cave will be a great place to grind up all of our grass Pokemon, at least. So when we get lost, we can at least do a bunch of absorbing and vine whipping. Cubone! Cubone phone home! Absorb him. What a dick, what a dick. Dick master, look at the brain tumors. Dick cheese. <laughs> okay. Bone club? Uh-oh, is that going to be super effective against Poison Rick? Yes, it is, but we'll absorb it right back. What the fuck is the banana fund? It's called my food. As a, as a monkey, my food is exclusively bananas. So the banana fund is people donate money so that I can continue to eat. <laughs> Could also be the nuggy fund, but I was in the mood for a banana fund today. <laughs> All right. Cubone slain, slowpoke, you will meet the same fate unless you have confusion on you. In which case, I might get psyched out. Asterios can wait, he's got nothing going on. Oof. Ah, oh, shit, he does have confusion. How much will it do? Oh, ho, 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 ho. not risking that one today. But who? everybody I have who is good is a poison type. All three of them. We have three poison types. Fuck. All right, absorb him, and let's hope he doesn't get another crit. And if he does, hopefully we absorb it enough that we don't die. Fuck. Yeah, okay. Does 22. It does 22. We gotta absorb at least five again. Oh, God, I'm confused. Oh, thank God, Rick Jr. Thank fucking God. Oh, thank God. Name the next four Pokemon in order. Asterios is a cock. <laughs> okay, Rick Jr., you got it. I gotta switch out. I mean, Captain's Wench, you got it. I gotta switch out Rick Jr. for... Ah... Uh, Kiro, can you save the day? No. Well, let's see how much damage they do to you. Okay, Asterios is a cuck. We'll have to remember that for the next stream. Confusion doesn't do over half. Let's see if we can kill him with a tackle. Oh! <laughs> disable fail. Tackle him again, Kiro! Kiro the hero! Don't disable my tackle. Screech was disabled, thank God. Kiro, the motherfucking hero, saves the day again. Another animal friend put to death by Kiro. Oof. Why did they make a Pokeball into a Pokemon? Yeah, Gen 8 sucks, huh? All right, let's go back to the Pokemon Center and then end the stream there. Been going for almost two and a half hours, folks. It's not expecting that long of a stream today. We had so much fun listening to everybody's E-Rich applications. Oh, we can cut this. Somebody, Captain's Wench, if you're here, somebody has to remind me to name the next four Pokemon. Asterios is a cuck. I'm sure he'll appreciate that we have a Pokemon called Asterios at the very least, so that'll be <laughs> nice. Have I wasted that much time at work? Hey, if you have a job that lets you watch Twitch streams, can you really complain? Unfortunately, when I'm editing a video or doing a Twitch stream, I don't have the luxury of watching a Twitch stream. Oh, how I envy thee. You get to waste your time watching me be unfunny and unentertaining for up to two and a half hours per day. Okay, Captain Swinch, thank you so much for helping us meet the Banana Fund goal. Always love it when these stream goals are met. It means I... Didn't waste my time not having a real job for the day. <laughs> uh, everybody, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon with Smash Bros. versus Sheepover. I guarantee it. It'll happen soon. We'll do more. Uh, listen to more applications for replacing E-Rich on Izakino. We'll do more Pokemon. We've got so much stuff coming on Twitch. And this weekend, Monkey Box Episode 2 comes out on YouTube and on MonkeyJones.com. But if you really want to watch it right now, you need something to watch for about an hour, it's up on my Patreon right now for five bucks. And everybody, again, thanks for tuning in. I'm really enjoying doing daily streams now. Now that I have things to actually stream and it's not just me sitting here jerking my own dick. Although I'm sure you guys would tune into that anyway. Monkey Box 2 is fucking funny, dude. Thank you so much, Jazz Blister. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you drop the N-bomb on your application? We're replacing E-Rich here. That, that would not fit into the character. 
See you next time, folks. It's time to go record Boomer vs. Zoomer episode 21. See ya. Dunstan checks out. Yeah.